a desktop computer here. It is a HP Slimline, belongs to a family member. Power supply, took a doo-doo. So, we got a new power supply right here. We got our iFixit magnetic project pad right here. And our iFixit toolkit right here. All kinds of little gadgets and gizmos in here to help you uh, get the job done properly. It takes a 220 watt MATX. The original brand is light on, but couldn't find one of those. So got a comparable power supply with these same side mounts that lock in inside the case. We've got our groove in the same spot to lock it in. Looks like a little bit bigger fan radiator, but other than that, everything appears to be the same, even the selector switch for the 115-220, which is right there. The only difference with this one that the factory power supply did not have is this indicator light. That's exactly what's on the factory power supply, so we should be good to go to take this one out, put this one in, boot it up, make sure the system posts. Let's get that screw out. Star or a flathead drive, and it's loose enough you can just do it by hand, so there's no superpower involved. What we're going to do is take the CD drive completely out of here. CD drive. Let's put that over there. Although it should lift up. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Ah, crappy design fixed. The CD bay flips up. We didn't have to take the drive out. That's okay. That's okay. There might even be enough room to get this thing off of here now. Let my power coolers go. Boom. There we go. Oh, we got one side to break. Oh, there we go. Boom. Last but not least, a uh, tummy gun. No, four pin. There we go. Old power supply that sounds like it's running 50 weight nerds inside it is now out. Done. That's trash. Old and busted, new hotness. The last thing we took off was the four pin. So how about that's the first thing we're going to put back on. Four pin connector to the motherboard. Mm -hmm. Fitted ducks. Next, 24 pin connector. Let's make sure that locks in on the motherboard. Bling blow. Hi, I'm a SATA connector. What's your name? Oh, that's funny. My name is SATA connector too. Crank it in here and get it on this little guy right there. Blow. Boy, that was tough. Where's that Staples Easy button? That was easy. There we go. Let's get it back in there. Somebody had this cable, which runs the front USB ports, disconnected, crippling whoever's using the computer from plugging anything in in the front side. We're going to fix that too. All right. Power first, or this little, this little guy right here. We'll get this little guy first. Hey, little guy. It pays to pay attention. Hey, look at that. The screw holes lined up this time. Voila. Okay. Reaffix the power supply screws. We don't want that thing flapping around. Let's 
get a power cable and a monitor, boot this baby up, see what she does. All right, here goes nothing. What? We've got lights, we've got action, and we've got silence in the case. I see some action right here. That looks like windows booting up. We got no noise in the case. Before it sounded like a machine gun. I feel the fan blowing from the new power supply. I think we are good to go. Oh, wait, we got action. So that one works. Okay, let's try again. Maybe it's only the bottom one that doesn't work. No, it works too. Boom! Look at that. Now we got front USB ports. We got good power. Everything's quiet. I'd say we're good here. Right here. You just snap it right in there. Kind of. Maybe. Okay. Be nice, would you? You came off real easy. Okay. We got that side in. This side. Being a little bit of pain. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Boom. So it is the HP Pavilion Slimline S5-1414. So there you go. I would say a mission accomplished, successful. Now, let's see if I can get this thing to go back on. Should be right in there somewhere. There we go. It's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. But that concludes our video today of replacing the power supply in a HP Pavilion Slimline S5 series. Dragonheart out.